Can I with you? What? ACP, do you see this? Look, if it ain't official Dana J, Levi for Kelly, Prima Donna News, I don't even want to see it. Just take the phone. Look. Got some weed? Hey. Gotta get some. All right, hurry up. These and them here, everybody here, we waiting on you. All right. I woke up like this. Ain't it funny how so many people feel some type of way as I point out all these red flags that let me know that all these allegations surrounding Robert Kelly may not be what they appear and a lot of people have come to these platforms in order to keep people's focus every which way so that you don't point out the obvious corruption and hypocrisy. Like for example, all these celebrities have come forth with these revelations as to how they had these secret crushes on Aaliyah and then people want to conveniently bypass all these other teenagers who dated older men in this specific time period. Yet we're watching this movement, Me Too, give rise to the notion that all rumors about a person are true. Like, for example, all the rumors swarming around Usher and his herpes allegations and his lawsuit stemming from it. He settled quite a few of those, and yet there was no media ruckus surrounding it. There's many other celebrities that got caught up in this Me Too scandal, but yet think about it. How many got this grand performance, all these actors coming out this whole biography impeding upon people's rights last time i checked victims have privacy rights so it should have been a red flag to see all these women being paraded around even though a lot of these narratives have been wrote by a specific individual named jim derogatis for the past 20 some odd years so it wasn't a red flag for people to see him participating in this docu-series who was also produced by the woman who put out this whole marriage certificate in the first place for some strange reason, people want certain rumors to go unaddressed, to give the notion that these rumors are true. But let's apply some common sense with this whole topic. How is it possible for a journalist to claim he got access to a minor's record, even though her mother has come out time and time again to shut it down, and all these sketchy individuals telling these stories can't keep their stories straight? And then we watch all these individuals be coerced into these memories that they had suppressed for 20 some odd years in order to come forward and make their claims with this circumstantial evidence. And just like that, people continue to exploit the legacy of a deceased person in order to pitch this narrative. But it says a lot when it takes a deceased person to drive home a federal indictment. And of course, people will conveniently bypass all the video evidence in which this woman defended these allegations that clouded her. But on another note, let's think of it like this. If these rumors surrounded you as a young teenager and you got all these suspect men around you, you're being thrown around all these men. Does anybody see a problem with this in itself? According to the paperwork waged against Robert Kelly, he's being painted as this pimp. So it's kind of interesting once we see how these celebrities are brought into the industry at young ages, are put into these contracts which we know they're not capable of understanding what it means, and we see similar stories with these celebrities being put into these contracts being extorted out of money and or cheated out of what they're rightfully owed and the media conveniently has a different spin on the facts versus what actually is going on.
Now to conclude this video, a lot of people got lost in the sauce when they started to come across my content when at first I was just here to question the things that I was reading. But more and more when I saw people continuously doing the most trying to force what I know makes absolutely no sense, it became obvious to me what we were watching in plain sight. With that said, in bringing up any individual that has similar accusations as Robert Kelly, it's not to say that he's right or he's wrong over here. It's just a matter of why is it this specific person was selectively targeted? Others would like to convince you this man has a history of abuse, but throughout all of my research, I'm more likely to lean toward a history of janky ass people being around him, running to the media, running to whoever they could plant their stories with in order to keep this cloud of guilt around this man's head. We've seen the most displayed on the internet. And if nothing else, it shows just how easy it was to align yourself next to this man and create havoc. Yet, as I've maintained, if this man didn't have a fair fight, he didn't have the opportunity to defend himself. His finances were cut off. All of these accusations were thrown onto him and everybody that supports him is being misguided on the internet. Can someone please tell me how this is justice? Look at any other case you've seen and tell me you've seen this much hoopla on the internet involving a case. Anybody with common sense knows that you're not going to run to the internet in the midst of an open investigation, throwing out people's names, throwing out implications, leaking alleged evidence, and just doing the most. Don't you think if this man was so guilty, if they could prove he was preying on minors, as they originally said, as he had a coat, as they originally said, they would not have had to come to the internet with all this bullshit to cover up the fact that either A, you want to believe they were complicit or enablers, as they coined the phrase, or B, you'll have to recognize that they are full of shit. But of course, there's still going to be some people out there saying, even though every single person I could spot on tell you the inconsistencies in their stories, they will say, well, he must have did something. Even though his rights were publicly violated, it's okay. But hey, black lives matter, right? Tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet. <sighs> Get the bag. Get the bag. Y'all niggas know what it is. It's the best. 